today I am going to make another video on this time it is on how to make a bunch of sand dollars in Minions Paradise so as y'all know Minions Paradise about the Minions it's a game from EA and Universal so why you need lots of sand dollars is because if you want to get anything done in this game quickly also it's also you need to expand the land you need more space because if you don't have enough space you can't build all of these buildings and how are you gonna build all these buildings also you also need a lot of sand dollars so first and most obvious tip is to do Phil's missions all right as you see right here he gives 500 500 sand dollars just for having ice cream and three ice blocks that's pretty simple once you have those buildings and then uh, having one spider web farm that's kind of expensive, but you get a thousand sand dollars in return. Obviously, these are not the most, how you say, it, most uh, beneficial way to gain sand dollars because you actually have to spend some to earn some. But they will help you. But honestly, the the best way and the next tip I have for earning a lots of sand dollars would be to do the mission board. All right, the mission board. Give some really good rates at which you can make sand dollars and XP level up fast. All right. Sadly, I can't show you these because I'm refreshing my missions. Always have your missions refreshed to what you can do. So look at that. Just for having an ice cream and an ice cube, I get 550 sand dollars, and that's and to create an ice cream and and ice cubes, you don't even have to spend any sand dollars. So it's a really big benefit. All you have to do is collect your resources and. And then go to the missions board and do the simple ones, like the ones where it's like one gas, one uh, one what's it called, coconut, one bamboo tree. Simple ones like that. They'll keep on popping up. Sometimes they stop because after when I was recording this, they what's it called? They were not coming up because I had already done a bunch of them. But always have a lot of resources so that you can do those mission boards. And my last tip, which is uh kind of tedious at times, depending on how much you play but if you're on the game and you're just waiting for something to build or you're just being patient uh do the mini games so right here as you see right here i have kevin uh he's gonna try to jump over all these things i failed so bad at those two rocks but anyways so try to get the highest score you possibly can so that it takes the mo the, the least amount of time to complete this but every seven seven thousand five hundred after the first cycle you either get 10 doubloons, which actually helps you a lot, or uh, uh, 3,000 sand dollars. I think it depends also on the minigame. I think some minigames get more, but yeah, just do the different minigames while you're waiting. As you see right here, am I close? Ooh, I just need uh, 575 more, and I get 3,000 sand dollars. All right. So yeah, 3,000 sand dollars, that's like one-seventh of the way to the, the spider farm, which is pretty expensive, but it will help out. So I think the last tip I have is if you look in the top top near the tiki bar by Phil's tiki bar, there is a little minion that comes by every five minutes depending on how fast you decline him. But what he does is he gives you good rates for your supplies. So I really recommend checking them out. Sometimes they're not as good as you'd want them to be, but occasionally they are pretty good. So always sell your resources to him. Well, I really hope this video helped out. I hope these tips can help you so that you can get the most amount of sand dollars. Thank you.